Alright guys, hey, what's up? It's me, Percy. So we're back with another fun Halloween doodle tutorial. And I've seen multiple requests on all kinds of videos. They're not on one specific video, but they're definitely everywhere. And he's a fantastic Halloween creature to draw based on his ordainments. Or ordainments, am I saying that right? I don't know. But Tim Burton created him. And we are going to draw Sparky from Frankenweenie. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I want to do this. I'm going to go ahead and turn my piece of paper like that. First thing is, his head shape is pretty easy. So we're just going to make basically a cone, all right? But we're also going to make it like more of a... It's going to be a little bit lumpy in spaces because once again, Sparky kind of just looks like a stuffed dog because he is anyways. So we make our funny looking cone right here, okay? So then I'm going to come beneath our cone, beneath, ugh, behind, behind our cone. I'm going to curve upward like this, curve upward, and then I'm going to come back to my head again and curve inward like that again. Let's go ahead and give Sparky his eye line, which would be right over here. And then I'm going to divide his face right down the line because eventually that would be the very tip of his nose right here. Okay. What I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw one circle where it's touching the bottom eye line like that. So we have one circle here. Now since we're seeing once again, we're seeing more of this side of the face than we're seeing on this side of the face. So I'm going to go ahead, draw a circle over here, but it's going to be more in the shape of an oval. And make sure make sure your eyes are the same height and everything. So we have more of an oval here and this is more of a full circle here, okay? Now, what you want to do is Sparky has eyebrows, of course, because don't all dogs have eyebrows? Well, I guess my dogs have eyebrows. They're very hairy. Okay. Anyways, so Sparky has an eyebrow right here that's going off the side of his head, and it's a very easy one. It just looks like a little caterpillar. So we have our little caterpillar here, okay? Then we're going to jump over here and make our little caterpillar over here. It's pretty easy. It's going to look like an actual little caterpillar. It's not going to look like how it like gets more of a corner like normal eyebrows just because it's a dog. Dogs are supposed to have eyebrows. After his eyebrows, what I want to do is let's go ahead and place his ears. Now his ears are pretty easy so I'm just going to go up. I'm going to curve inward right here and then I'm going to come down and connect back to my head over here. So we have one ear here and then I'm going to come back to right here and see what I did there. I curved outward this way but then I curved inward like this and then I'm just going to curve downward like that, like this, okay? Pretty easy ears for Sparky. All right, now let's go ahead and for the very, he has a very long nose, but at the very bottom of his nose, kind of looks like zero. Have you guys heard that whole conspiracy? Have you seen it? Where like Frank and Weenie, um, Corpse Bride, and Nightmare Before Christmas are all like connected and put together. It's a fantastic conspiracy. I'm sorry that I'm just like totally messing it up, uh, going off track right now. Because it's just like, alright, it's Vic like Frank and Weenie is the little kid's dog and then the kid grows up, um, and not Frank and Weenie, Sparky. Because it's like the conspiracy is that Sparky is uh, technically Scraps, Victor's dog in Corpse Bride, and then Scraps is technically Zero, Jack Skellington's dog in Nightmare Before Christmas. Isn't that a fantastic conspiracy? Whoever thought of that, I hope it's true. I hope Tim Burton is that much of a genius because I already know he's a genius, but I hope that whole theory is a magnificent genius plan that we finally have discovered that Tim Burton has had all along. I don't know. Okay, back to the drawing. I'm sorry guys, I just got really excited. So after that, what I'm going to do from the nose right here, because I said it looks like Zero's nose from Nightmare Before Christmas. So I'm going to go right up, just like this. I'm going to make that line from here, but I'm leaving this gap right here. That's because I'm going to come underneath where I made that gap, and I'm going to connect back to this. Now you want to make sure you give it a good bottom lip, because that's what we're making is a bottom lip right here, because we do see a lot of stitches on Sparky's lip right here. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and put a couple more things together. 
All right, first thing is we need to give him a pupil. It's a pretty easy pupil. It's just this one little dot right here. And then we're just gonna make another little dot right here as well. Okay, now from right here, let's start with placing some stitches. We've got a stitch coming down through, it goes underneath the eyebrow and into right here. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead, put a stitch here, stitch here, and a stitch here. Now for this spot, he actually has a spot around his eye like this. I don't know necessarily, it's been a while since I've seen the movie, if this is an actual spot that he had before when he was alive, or if it's just dark circles around his eyes because he has an equal dark circle around his eyes. So this is going to be another shading technique. So I'm just gonna darken around his eye. Get rid of that line inside his eye because I don't like it. Okay. Go. So I'm just going to darken around this eye. You see, as I go around the eye, you see how this part is smaller than up here. Okay, now I'm going to go around this eye. And it's just going to be a nice little dark circle going around like this. Okay, now when I said that he's going to be a little bit lumpy, we're going to go ahead and bring out his nose like this and make his nose a little bit lumpier and then it goes down into that point so we just made it lumpy because he is like a stuffed dog okay so um we have one let's go ahead and get rid of these guidelines on his face what you do want to do is make this a little bit more prominent because this is almost like this is his nose ridge right here okay so just make those that area a little bit more prominent now we have one scar that's going straight across his nose like that. Let's make sure it's nice and thick. Okay, we're gonna make a little stitch here, stitch here, stitch here, stitch here, stitch here. Okay, now, like I said, in his bottom lip, I'm gonna go ahead and shade like where the opening of his mouth is, so that'd be like right there, just like that. Now, around his lips is a stitch, a stitch, a stitch, a stitch, a stitch. Okay, we, and then at the bottom, the top of his lip right here, you see a couple of stitches here as well. Just like that, so we just want to give it a little bit. A little bit more like a Jack Skellington feel to it. Alright, another thing is go ahead and color in your eyebrows. On Frank Wayne, not your actual eyebrows. So I'm going to go ahead and color these in. And his ears are just a solid black. If you want to get a little bit more cre creative and everything, you can make this a darker black on the inside because it's the inside of his ear, as well as this. What I want to do is, I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle right here, okay? That circle is going to come in handy in a second. So we're going to just go ahead and bring down the circle right here, bring down on this side as well. Bring down this side as well and as we get closer to the bottom get super skinny and then we're gonna make like a little elephant paw instead of a paw it looks like an elephant's foot like that okay now for right over here you're just gonna come straight down right here once again it's going to be super skinny like this and it's just going to be a little bit above this paw right here, like that. Okay, nice skinny leg, paw, awesome. Alright, just like that. Alright, then we're going to go ahead and jump inside the paw and give him his little paw marks, his little toe marks, his little puppy. Okay, now. What you're going to do is, okay, I made him a little bit too long, so I'm going to bring up his bottom a little bit closer, okay? So, I misjudged. Apologies. Okay. Apologies about that. So, after that, what I want to do is, I'm going to go ahead and make this little sunrise over here, okay? So then after this, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bring this out. And I'm going to go out this way. I'm going to cut it off here. And then I'm going to go back up into his bum. Okay? 
Now I'm gonna go back out this way with a skinnier leg, skinny little leg again, and then we got the elephant paw once again. Like that. All right, so I'm gonna define this a little bit more just because dogs' back legs have that like, you know, they don't exactly bend like these ones up here. All right, just like that. Go ahead, get rid of some guidelines. Okay, so then almost right about here, you're gonna go ahead and make his other little paw. Once again, we don't see this entirety of his leg. We see more of like this, where it's just the skinniness like of the paw area. And you come straight down and you wanna make it level with this one, like this one should be level with this one. So this one should be coming down on this level right here, like that. Okay, there's his other little paw. All right. So then after that, what you're, what you're going to do is this top of his body right here, you're going to make this circle like that, okay? And then of course right here we have his little bolts that are coming out of his head. So we're just gonna make like half of a hexagon almost. Just so we have that, the bolts coming out right over here. All right, for his stitches, you wanna make sure that the lines going around right here, this leg and this leg right here are very dark. Jeez, how bad was this dog when he got run over? Dang, okay. And then we've got a stitch here. We have a stitch going through his belly. And we have this stitch up here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do lightly stitch around here. You can go in different directions and everything. Kind of like Sally, we're having a like a stitch, kind of a Tim Burton feel, kind of a Halloween tutorial month thing. I can't come up with a name for it. Michael Scott could. Okay, now this of course I need to go ahead and color that in. top of his this patch right here it's like an actual patch of clothing almost so you just want to go ahead and give like the little circles like it's a patch of clothing color that in like that so we're gonna go right up just like a little little itty bitty rat tail almost that big and of course this is all black it's working there are lots of opportunities for shading in this picture I could shade his leg since his body is overshadowing um, his leg here and it's overshadowing right over here and of course I could shade this in I could shade this in I could shade in his belly like that because Sparky is all well he's gray um, but it used to be all white and I can shade here shade here there are many places to shade and of course you can always shade like his actual nose since once again we're seeing more this side of his face so we're see so this is in the shade a little bit more just like that shading always makes a fantastic difference and I'm gonna go ahead and line his eye a little bit more Oh, another fantastic suggestion. I could shade underneath him where I made my levels. Like that. Yay, Sparky. Awesome, wonderful guys. So here is another fun Halloween character. Had lots of fun, he was super easy to draw. Uh, I love Frank and Weenie, I love Sparky. He's super adorable. But if you haven't seen the movie yet, I really suggest it and I really hope that conspiracy is true. Um, anyways. 
So yes, leave in the comments below. We've got, what, two more weeks of October left? So that's two more Thursdays that we could make potential Halloween characters. And there's plenty of other fun people to draw for Halloween. So leave in the comments below who you want to draw. Make sure it's rated G, PG, you know, no Freddy Cougar or anything like that. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I will see you all on Saturday with a new mail opening. Bye, guys! Hey.